Welcome back, Fragrance Family. It's your friendly neighborhood humble collector, and I'm here to talk about the house of Terry Mugler. Now, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, uh, for this countdown, okay? I already know it. I already know it. <laughs> I can already see, you know, the headlines now. <laughs> okay, so, uh, as everybody knows, you know, I've been collecting for a year now, and this was the first, this was the first house that I remember wanting to really, really test all of the flankers, you know? Okay, so, I'm gonna start out with my honorable mention, okay? And coming in as my honorable mention, the original Terry Mugler Amen. Okay, um, now before you shout to the heavens how I'm stupid and all that other stuff, um, this fragrance does not perform on me. Um, I think that it has been reformulated. I'm not really sure though. If somebody else can get a hold of me, get back on me about that, uh, please let me know, okay? Uh, because this does not perform as well as everybody says it does. Uh, this is not the beast that I have heard that it has, that it used to be, or that it has been, uh, so that's why this, and I don't wear this all the time, I wear this every now and then just to make sure that, just to test it out, you know, just to make sure that I'm not overlooking something, and it just does not perform for me, so yeah, coming in at an, honor and an honorable mention is the original Amen. Coming in at number five, I recent is the newest one to the family to the f family of flankers for Terry Mugler. Okay, Here, uh, Crypto Mint, very awesome fragrance. Mm. I love it. Awesome. A little bit too much like uh, Ultra Zest though. Too much so that it it's very hard tell the difference between them. So this one is coming in at number five. Coming in at number four, this one is the one that started it all for me. This was the very first Terry Mugler um, fragrance that I ever took a chance on. It's the first one that I ever purchased. And I mean, last, um, that <laughs> last summer I used a heck of a lot of this man I had to retire it for uh, the winter time because it really didn't perform during the winter but yeah I don't know if you can see that but man it's, I, I'm gonna have to invest in another bottle man so ultra zest by Terry Mugler comes in at number four coming in at number three the cherry, cigar, uh, tobacco, um, whatever you want to call it, pure Havan. Now, I wore this on Valentine's Day, and uh, my lady really liked this on me. Very interesting night, man. Uh, you know, that sweet cherry cigar note, man really made it an awesome night for both of us, man. And when I wear this, uh, I mean, I still get a little, little bitty hint of it the next day also. If I drench this on my clothes, forget about it, man. It's on there for at least two or three washings, you know? <laughs> okay, so that is pure Havan, and it's coming in at number two. Coming in at number three 
is uh, coming in at number uh, that's this is coming in at number three this is coming in at number two I'm sorry and god man the whiskey uh, gym itself pure malt now I can already hear it from everybody who loves pure malt I can already hear it you know you're stupid to put this number two this should always be number one in any Terry Mugler countdown that you're doing right well it kind of it's a good fragrance and it performs and it smells really really good but it kind of makes me nauseous after a while you know because this man this performs on me like a beast like a monster okay and that second day it's still hanging around and it always makes me kind of nauseous though I'm all uh, you know uh, I gotta wear this you know whenever I, I'm in the mood to wear it you know can't wear this is not a, a, a staple in my rotation okay coming in at number one your Honka. I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna spray some of this right now. Gosh. That sweet cappuccino cookie note, man. Oh, man. I, I got a little animizer of this when it first came out, and I just I love carrying it around every time I go out clubbing or to like a gentleman's club or whatever you know it was my staple uh, go-to fragrance until I got ultra malt okay but as as far as to the Terry Mugler line this is my favorite this is my favorite here man mm. uh, out of everything that I have in, in, in my uh, staple of Terry Mugler, this one right here always gives me compliments. You know, uh, the ladies, uh, I wore this to work one time, and the ladies at work in the hospital that I work at um, said that they thought that I had bought cupcakes. And, you know, and they were like, well, who bought cupcakes? Because it smells really sweet, you know, in here. It was my, it was, I was like, sorry, ladies, it's, it's my cologne, you know. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, but there's no cupcakes, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this one is my favorite that Terry Mugler has come out with, man. It's sweet, it's dark, it's sensuous, it's sexy. It's, I mean, to me, this this was my go-to clubbing, going out, you know, um, not dating fragrance, uh, you know, not first date fragrance, you know, because it's a little bit too strong for a first date. You know, that's why I got a Boss Bottle for it, you know? Um, but yeah, Terry Mugler, Pure Tonka, number one. Okay, so I hope that I didn't uh, discourage anybody too hard. Uh, I myself am a very diff difficult person to figure out. Uh, so yeah, that is my, this is my take on the house of Terry Mugler. Uh, you guys are my humbled crowd that keep coming back and wanting more. And thank you very much for that. And if it's your first time here in my channel, thank you very much for stopping by. Even if it is to make fun of me or, you know, whatever, you know? <laughs> but, you know, before you leave, will you please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, this was the house of Terry Mugler. I am the humble collector, that's the truth, and I'm sticking to it.